Wall and welcome to Stingray Tom's Florida in day 18 of the Florida Adventure Series. Let's see what the object for today is. This is a fossil of a manatee vertebra, one of its backbones, that was found here in Florida. The fossil dates from the Neogene period and is between 2 and 15 million years old. True manatees evolved about 15 million years ago, though early forms evolved over 50 million years in the past. Prior to that, their relatives lived on land and are related to elephants. I did this more in-depth video on the manatee a while back. It's a fascinating animal. Think about it. Along with its three sister species, it's the only fully aquatic mammal that's an herbivore. There's about 90 species of whales and dolphins all of which are either predators or which hunt the seas for blooms of plankton. Manatees have been an integral part of the waters in and around Florida for millions of years, but they're only one of the many animals that called Florida home long before Ponce de Leon named the peninsula. Just like this vertebra, many of the ancient species left their mark in the paleontological record. There's no dinosaurs hidden in the bedrock of Florida, but the state's geology is rich with fossils that go back 33 million years. The Florida Museum of Natural History in Gainesville has a remarkable collection and a striking display of dozens of specimens from the state's past, and many local museums also have interesting collections of fossils that were collected nearby. This includes the Mulberry Phosphate Museum in Mulberry, in the heart of the Bone Valley Formation. Yes, there's a Bone Valley Formation. That's just how rich Florida is when it comes to fossils. Bone Valley is a geologic area located mostly in northwestern Polk County and parts of adjacent counties. It consists of a sandy soil made up of phosphate, quartz, and fragments of bone. Bone Valley holds one of the richest deposits of phosphate in the world, so it's been heavily mined, which has resulted in massive changes to the land, but it has also led to the discovery of hundreds of fossils of animals which both appear familiar and strange to us, such as the mastodon and its longer-legged cousin, the mammoth. Both could weigh up to 24,000 pounds, though ones in Florida tended to be smaller. There were giant ground sloths, or megatherium, which could weigh 10,000 pounds, highlighting why they were ground sloths, plus large-headed llamas. In fact, while there are no llamas or the related camels native to North America today, the camel family is known to have originated on the continent. Also, Pampatheri related to armadillos, but weighed some 400 pounds. And terror birds. Yes, that's the common name for the now extinct carnivorous flightless birds, including Florida's native Titanus, one of the largest of the terror birds, standing nearly seven feet tall with one of the heaviest skulls of any bird. Titanus would likely have preyed on Pampathera. And finally, Proceratid, a deer-like herbivore that's actually more closely related to giraffes and cattle. A few million years ago, manatees would have been familiar with each of these remarkable animals as they drank at the edge of the rivers in which the manatees swam. And today, much of what we know of these species, all of which are long extinct except for the manatee, of course, is from the work of Florida scientists who have found and studied their fossils. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's episode of Florida's Adventure Series 2023.